Whiting Sea in Western Alaska contains the richest underwater gold fields in the world. And our job as gold dredgers is to get our divers underwater to suck it all up before the competition. It's the beginning of the season and we're ready to get underwater for the first time. We're gonna have to battle icebergs, freeze ups, and insanely cold water just to get paid. Lofty ambitions aside, we're currently dead in the water. After weeks of preseason work, we barely had pulled away from the boat launch when the outboards died. Hey, we lost power. Can you get the skiff? Our maiden voyage made it about, I don't know, what is that, a quarter mile? No, not even. Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. Let's just get to the low wall. Yeah, and there's okay. like a glacier headed towards us. Hold on, you're on the iceberg. Hold on. Oh, that's right, Iceberg. You're no match for the rock jam stick. Oh, wait, hold on, you guys. <laughs> Let me get rid of the iceberg and then pull up the anchor. Whew. No Titanic today. <laughs> this ship is on. Well, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> oh. Everything's broken. Maybe the fact that it's wrapped around a glacier, it's popping a breaker. Just run it over here then. No problem. Yeah, Our winches got winches. We eventually made it over to the, the low wall. We're tied up. We're, we're secure. We checked all the voids. There's no leaks. We're happy. It was a little bit of a exciting time, but hey, you know, as launch as goes, it was pretty good. We got hit by an iceberg. No big deal. We're not the Titanic. An iceberg attacked us. <laughs> it was an unprovoked assault. <laughs> they only attack when provoked. I'm tired. Let's go. Yeah, it's 10.30. It's cold. Right, I'm out we here. thought it was 7.30. <laughs> We've been preparing for like six months for this. This has been the longest preseason. <laughs> I mean, when did we start on this pontoon? Yeah, we started December 31st. It's June 2nd now. Barely June 2nd. Oh my gosh, we are doing non-stop preparing for this egg. We have uh, a lot of like untested systems. We did a lot of work on the main pump motor. The outboard's been giving us trouble. Yeah. Compressor's brand new. Gotta hope everything runs yeah. today. Even though we tested it yesterday, we haven't like right. taken it out in the field yet. But we're the first ones out on lease 14. That's right, yeah, And big, uh, big it's, deal. It's wide open, which there's no competition right now. Yeah. It's very clear. The visibility should be good. We don't really know. And this is a great time to, to, to get some hours on the box and go prospect and look around. They had a record cold April and it made the ice freeze really deep. And here we are June 2nd, the ice is just still here. Hasn't broke loose yet. Icebergs might look harmless just floating there peacefully, but they're a huge danger. One thing most people don't know about the ocean is it's never still. Currents can get up to three knots and rip icebergs up and down the coastline. North and south winds can blow ice fields out to sea and back and the situation can completely change in minutes. This could easily kill or seriously harm a diver, so the guys will have to stay vigilant. You guys ready for this? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, it was ready, yeah. I'm ready. I'm excited for the whole experience of just like going down there, seeing the clear water, feeling the warm water, and just watching that nozzle just eat into the material and be like, there's gold. I've got a wrench just in case I need it. I'm a gold miner in the Bering Sea in Nome, Alaska, and I also sell gold on the internet. This comes directly from our Salus box, you know, this isn't some massive mine that we're selling products from. Like we're a trusted operation of gold miners in the Northwest, mining some of the purest deposits in the world. If you want to experience what we do and see what we're working with and have natural gold from the Bering Sea in your hands, buy our gold. The water's freezing, it's 34 degrees.
Our hot water system is working fine. The problem is I have a, a gaping hole in the front of my wetsuit and I'm just gulping down cold ocean water. I can't get any hot water in my suit. All right, you ready? Got a game face now. That's why I'm gonna be quiet, but <laughs> I was the same way with the wrestling match. Once it, once it was like, yep, you're coming up, your match is up next. It's like instant butterflies, but I'm excited. The gold is usually a bit slow during the first dives of the season. You get all excited about getting on the gold, but unless you left off in a hot spot, you have to go out and find it. Prospecting, it's a game of skill. You've got to read the ground, you've got to know what you're looking for. There's a lot of clues in mineralization, topography, you don't want to go too deep. But ultimately, it's also just about hitting the right spot. You just have to look and look until you find something hot. Hard work for a lot of nothing there. <laughs> Did a two hour prospecting session and uh, holes probably up to here, maybe a little deeper. And then it was like some big stuff, some smaller stuff, mm. just kind of all mixed together and then just surrounded by more sand. This is, it's all bad. Yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad, and bad. like you'd see a speck here and there, right. but obviously not worth working. So I'm diving down there and I start to hear this hissing sound and I'm trying to ignore it for a while, maybe it'll go away. But then I feel cold wind blowing on my face inside the mask and this cold wind is blowing on my face and going out the mask and going out in bubbles. And I'm thinking, this cold air is going to cause more freeze ups because you got this fast moving cold air, it's just going to freeze everything. I'm going to be face on the inside of my mask. Um, that's when I knew that I can't just ignore this problem. I've got to deal with this here, it's about to get worse. I turned and started climbing up that hose, knowing this could be my last breath, and just thankful that it didn't freeze up uh, worse. So, made it to the surface, happy about that. I just block it out and try not to think about what would happen, just so that I, I'm not worried. You have to have a plan. Like, what, am I, what are you gonna do if your regulator stops working and you have no air? Do you say something to tell the crew that you don't have any air, or do you hold in that last breath that you've got while you like make your ascent. We're dealing with extremely dangerous situations and we just laugh it off all the time. We're always making light of our situation because that's our coping mechanism. Look how nice this mask looks. It's just all black and stealthy. Not like a dance crotch. Why would we do that? Not real <laughs> stealthy down it's south, so son. Up. Looks like I got pooped on by a seagull Man, in the crotch. You look like Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it sounds like this while I'm diving. It just sounds like that. Yeah. And I think, mm, uh, can't be good. Is that frost? Is something wrong with this? No, it's, <laughs> this is brand new. It, it free flows, it's a feature, not a bug. Often like ice is only <laughs> causes it to free flow. So I think our first attempt at fixing this is to use our hot water system to somehow make our air hose warm. That's the only way that we can think to do it. David and Dan both got a few hours underwater a piece. Got icebergs coming in uh, from the east. Yeah, it just smells like it's time to go home. This was a good sea trial. It kind of was a sea trial. It was a sea yeah. trial. First blood. 
There's still gold out here. We got five or six hours underwater, man. I bet there's some gold. I bet there's a couple ounces in that box. Sure. Well, we had some good stuff for yeah. a short time. This is part five of an ongoing series about our mining adventures in Western Alaska. If you liked this one, you're gonna love the others. A couple of videos should be up on the screen right now. Click on the bottom one to check out the beginning of the series. Or click on the top one to see our next episode. I'm gonna give it to you straight. Next episode, we almost get creamed by an iceberg. I'll see you there.